Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you really easy step-by-step -step how to make this beautiful spring colorful seed bead earrings and I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you will be able to make them. In my next uh, video I'm gonna be showing you how to turn this pattern into a bracelet. So it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button to be notified when I release my next video. And if you want to support me you could also like, share and comment and I promise I'll answer to all of your questions in the comments. If you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. And you could also check my new store where you will find t-shirts, mugs, hoodies and so many other different stuff. And in this way, if you buy stuff from there, you support me, my channel and my mission. And the designs are made especially by me for you. And I share a link to my store down there in description and there at the eye icon so you could easily find it and take a look at it. Thank you so much for watching and being here with me. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Ok guys, so for this video what I'm using are 3 colors of 11 o seed beads and you could use 10 o seed beads of course and I'm using ear wires, use any type of ear wires that you like and I'm using here size 10 beading needle, I'm using monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters and I squeeze it with my flat nose pliers to go through size 10 beading needle but these pliers are not obligatory because if you use regular beading thread they are made flat and easily go through size 10 beading needle and I'm using here scissors of course and now I'm going to take 3 feet of thread on my needle and I will start ok guys and now I have my thread on my needle and I will take 4 of these beautiful seed beads and I'm going to slide them down I will stick my needle in my mat and here I will make a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and this is called surgeon's knot okay then I will pull tight and what I do is that I go through my next C bead and here I will take a green bead and I will go through my following C bead then another one going through the following and in this way I'm forming a second row of beads okay And now guys, I have this. And in my next step, I will go through one of my green beads. Okay, and I'm stepping up in my next row. And now I will take a red, a green and a red. So this is what I have. And as I'm going out from this green, I will go through the other green. So I'm going through one of the green beads and then through the other, okay? Then I will repeat this red, green, red, okay? Go through here. Red, green, red, okay? And now pay attention that you should go through this green bead and not through the red one. Okay. Now this is what I have. Okay, now I'm exiting out of this green if you don't see my thread. And what I want to do is exit out of this red one here. 
and here between the reds from every side I'm going to add one green bead okay I'm taking one going through the red then go here and my goal is to exit out of the red one take a green go through the following red and through the green and again exit after this red one green and this is my last step from this row take one more green okay then I'm going to exit out of my next green one and I want to add yellow red yellow yellow red yellow this is what I have I'm exiting out of this green and going through the next green just like that Then again, yellow, red, yellow, and through the following green. Yellow, red, yellow, and through the green. And continue this until the end of this row. And here I am at my last step and now I'm going to this green one here. Pay attention, you should go through this green one and not through the yellow above it. This is a common mistake to avoid. Okay, then I will go through the yellow and then I will go through this red one here. And I will add yellow, green, yellow between the reds. Yellow, green, yellow. And as I'm exiting from this red one, I'm going through the following red. And then again, yellow, green, yellow. And I'm going through the following red. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Yellow, green, yellow. Okay guys, and this is my last step here. I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And now guys, my goal is to exit through one of my yellows here. Okay, and I'm going here. And until the end of this row, I'm going to add only yellow beads. I will start with three beads. As I'm exiting from this yellow, I'm going through the other yellow bead. Okay, just like that. 
then I will go through the green and through the next yellow and I'm adding three yellows above this red one okay now this is what I have then through the green and through the yellow like that and again I need three yellows going through the following yellow you see where I'm adding these three beads between those two yellows that are above the red one okay next to the red one okay guys and I will continue adding those beads and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I'm just adding my last three beads from this row I need a little bit of fixing and then my goal is to exit through this green one and through the following three yellows because I want to be here at one of my angles and here I will attach my ear wire and how I'm attaching it I'm taking a green bead my ear wire and a green bead so this is what I have on my needle you see and as I'm exiting from this bead here I will go around in circle like that and now I will reinforce this work here Okay, then I will go here through some beads and I will make a knot by first making a loop and then going through this loop twice and then I will make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I'm going to pull and you could repeat this several more times cut your thread and your earring will be ready okay guys and when i repeat all of those steps one more time this is what i have i have a beautiful spring a colorful seed bead earrings and uh, i will show you how to make a bracelet out of this pattern so stay with me uh, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when i release uh, my upcoming videos and uh, that was all from me. You could check my new merch store at the eye icon and by buying stuff from there you support me, my channel and my mission. If you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. This was all from me. Bye bye.